There are no political parties running in Qatar's Shura Council elections, only independent candidates. Here are some things you should know about them. There are a total of 284 people from 30 electoral districts running for Qatar's legislative body. 28 of them are women, making up roughly 10% of those vying for a place on the Shura Council. Candidates have already started sharing their campaign slogans on social media to gain support, while others listed their achievements and electoral promises. Constituency number 20, Al Khor Thakhira, has the highest number of candidates. 21 people are nominated from the constituency, three of whom are women. District number 5, Old Al Ghanim, has a surprisingly low candidate count, with just one person on the list, meaning that this candidate has already secured his seat on the upcoming Shura Council by default. Candidates have been given the green light to start their campaigns in accordance with rules and regulations, and must then all campaigning 24 hours before polls open. Qatar's Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Culture and Sports have designated gymnasiums and youth centres for campaign meetings and seminars where candidates can represent their electoral platform to the public. Those running in the Shura Council elections have the freedom to withdraw the nomination seven days ahead of election day. All candidates must be originally Qatari, over the age of 30, be fluent in written and spoken Arabic and display good morals and conduct. On the evening of election day, October 2nd, the elected members of the Shura Council will be announced. So in just a few weeks, 30 of these 284 people will have one seat on Qatar's Shura Council where they have the power to draft laws, approve government spending programs and question or dismiss ministers if needed. It's been described by many as a major step in Qatar's path towards progressive change and reform. Head over to www.dohanews.co for all the latest on the Shura Council elections.